The Story of the Nutcracker It was Christmas Eve, and in a small town in Germany, Clara and her family were preparing a party for all their relatives. But first, they had to decorate the Christmas tree. Every year they brought out the decorations and carefully hung glowing glass baubles and shining foil-wrapped chocolates on the branches. This year there was a new decoration, a beautiful fairy with a purple dress for the top of the tree. Everything was ready, so Clara and her brother Franz played by the light of the fire as they waited for the guests to arrive. Clara dressed up her dolls and brushed their hair while Franz played with his toy soldiers. Soon, Clara and Franz's grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, arrived with presents. Last to arrive was Godfather Drosselmeyer, who always brought extra special presents for all the children. Clara was excited to see what Godfather Drosselmeyer brought her this year. The present was a nutcracker, but no ordinary nutcracker. It was made as a little wooden man, dressed in a red and black uniform. Clara loved her nutcracker. Franz was sure it was a soldier, and so he should have it. Let me play with it, he said, while trying to take it away from Clara, but she held on tight. In the tug-of-war struggle, the poor nutcracker's leg came off. Godfather Drosselmeyer took the nutcracker gently from Clara, put some glue on his leg, and whispered some magic words. He then told Clara to let the nutcracker rest by the fire while she went off to play with her cousins. You'll be fine by midnight. Just look out for the mice, he said. Clara had so much fun at the party that she forgot all about her nutcracker and went to bed without him. She awoke suddenly at midnight, remembering her present left alone by the fire. My nutcracker, she said. She crept downstairs and found him where she'd left him, by the fireside. She picked him up, held him, and stayed there to sleep with her nutcracker in her arms. A short time passed. Then Clara suddenly awoke. She could hear a scrabbling sound coming from the corner of the room. She opened her eyes and saw a group of mice coming towards her, led by a bigger mouse with a little crown on his head. Clara was frightened, but she held on to her nutcracker tightly. From another corner of the room came the sound of drumming. Clara turned and saw Franz's toy soldiers marching towards the mice. The nutcracker moved in Clara's arms and came to life. He leapt up and led the army of toy soldiers to battle. The battle was full of smoke and noise and shouting. Clara couldn't see what was happening, but she knew her nutcracker wasn't safe fighting the Mouse King, so she threw her slipper at the Mouse King, and he fell over. All the other mice ran away, taking their fallen king with them. As Clara turned to her nutcracker, she realized he had grown taller and now looked like a real person. I am a prince, he said. The Mouse King had cast a magic spell to make me a nutcracker forever. You have rescued me. Clara looked in amazement at the Nutcracker Prince. Come with me, he said. Clara and the Nutcracker Prince flew by magic over glittering snowy landscapes until they came to a shining white island of sugared icing where a purple-dressed fairy greeted them. I have been waiting for you, she said happily. She led Clara and the Nutcracker Prince to a great hall full of people from all over the world who were dancing and feasting. Clara and the Nutcracker Prince sat on thrones 
and happily watched the entertainment. Soon, the party was over, and the fairy tucked Clara and the Nutcracker Prince into a beautiful sleigh. She wrapped a warm blanket around them and said farewell. Clara felt warm and happy as the sleigh flew by magic over the snowy landscapes, and she soon fell asleep. When Clara awoke, she realized she was back home by the fire, and the nutcracker was in her arms, back to his original size. Franz's toy soldiers were scattered on the floor, and at the top of the Christmas tree was the fairy smiling down at her. Clara wondered if it had all been a dream. Outside it was daylight, and she could hear the bells ringing. It was Christmas Day, and she had never felt happier. The End